I think it was two years ago at Christmas vacation at my parents' house. And Billy came to me and told me he had this idea and he wanted to bring back board track racing. And we talked about it at length and he said he wanted to do it here and he had the half mile banked oval. And I said, all right, I'm in. Real board track racing hasn't happened in anyone's lifetime that's still alive. So when someone says I'm gonna do board track racing, it's a big job, that's a big dream. And my feeling was if anyone can do it, it'll be Billy. Sent me a picture of all his motors. He said, you know, I wanna to talk to you about these. I was like, cool. Didn't have any idea what he was doing, anything like that. And then we talked and um, he brought up the whole Sons of Speed and um, asked if I was interested, and I was just like, without even hesitating. I was just like, I'm in, just count me in. I was just like, you don't even want to just, you know, think about it, anything like that? I'm like, oh no, I'm in. He asked me if I was interested in doing it, and I said, I'm coming. And I had no idea what I was getting into. Not a clue. All I know is they were, they were old, they were loud, they leaked, and I liked it. We have no brakes, we have no clutches, we have no transmissions, no suspension. A little kill switch right here on it so when you dive into the corner you can that's how you slow down i start the kill right up at the top of that hill and just hold it down till you come into pit because if you if you let off on it just a little bit it's going to kick right in and you'll take off again you're hammering the bike i mean basically the bike is it's like it's in gear because it's direct drive and you get up high on the wall and you use the gravity and someone pushes you from the hips and the bike basically goes boom, 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 and then you give it gas and then hopefully it then goes boom, 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 and you're off. It's like the weight of a bicycle when you feel it. It's like there's nothing underneath of you. You know, it's shaking and I mean, they weren't really made to go fast. They were just made to get you around. And of course, you know, being the humans that we are, when, if it can get you around, then we want to make it fast. And so you're taking something that wasn't designed for that and boosting it up and getting crazy with it. And you're going to get crazy results when you do something like that. Yeah, I've wanted to do this forever, man. I've been wanting to do this for over 10 years. I mean, it's been something I've always wanted to do ever since I got into old motors and then got into the history of them. I saw, you know, what they started as and what they became. Every one of those engines was in a bike at some point and the bikes are probably long gone. And people kept the engines because they could use them to run water pumps or fans or um, sawmills. You know, they used them for whatever they needed a power source for. And so those bikes basically were destined to always be that, to either be a novelty or be just utilitarian. And I like the fact that, you know, I'm building chassis and giving them back the life they were intended to have. He's just such a wealth of information as far as this kind of thing. And it's been amazing kind of going on this journey with, with him through this whole process. Some people only care about them for the novelty of them, you know, or to say, oh, I have a 1910 Harley or 1912 Harley. Me, I, I want to ride them, you know, I want to give them life. And that's kind of what Sons of Speed's all about, is it, you know, taking something that people thought was obsolete and, you know, bring back. Hold on for dear life, you know. It's so light, you know, you don't have any brakes, and it's, it's steers so fast and so squirrely. It's kind of crazy. Good crazy. To be able to come out here on the track and play, especially on a motorcycle of this era, is just the 
most incredible experience I've had in the motorcycle industry for forever. I love the racers, and I wanted to, to I wanted to have them, and just instead of having one to look at, I wanted to have one to ride, and then I can't race against myself. He's been taking this thing on a hundredfold compared to anything that uh, you know we individuals are doing. I mean, I built my own bike from the ground up, and he's built you know 20 of them from the ground up. So I, I admire him for that so much. He is burning the midnight oil. To the, to the point where it's crazy, and to help everybody else. My name is Brittany Olson. I'm an antique motorcycle racer from Aberdeen, South Dakota. We built this bike with a lot of love and passion, my husband and I both, with family and friends from all over the country. Known Billy um, for a long time. We used to set up when these rallies were huge. And uh, I just want to support this thing and see it take off. A hundred miles an hour on a hundred year old bike is just kind of cool. Pretty bitching to watch it all go down, you know. And it's gaining momentum and it's, I don't see an end in sight, man. My brother, he dreamt this whole thing up. He's the real visionary in this thing and he's brought back like I mean, look at what we have i mean the people here that come to see and support him is like these are people with serious talent started thinking okay well let me get some like-minded people who are into them too and let's actually make them roll here i am trying to make one roll <laughs> <laughs>